Do women recover faster than men? Some research indicates this is indeed the case. However, a new study claims that it is not the case. So what gives? What the new study uh, did is they looked at men and women doing a four sets at 10 RM, repetitions to failure. So four sets, as many reps as possible, basically at the same um, RM and looked at their performance acutely four hours later, 48 hours later and 24 hours later. So three time points. And they did this at a multiple interval. So actually it wasn't um, in the same session that they did four, 24 and 48 hours later, but it was in three different uh, times that it did it. Otherwise, one workout, like the four hour workout would influence the 24 hour workout, etc. But basically we can interpret it as if it is the case. And the study is titled, sex differences may exist for performance fatigue, but not recovery. Now the idea that women don't fatigue as much during a workout, so the acute neuromuscular fatigue is less in women than in men, is in line with the overall literature. Women in general can do more repetitions at a given intensity than men, so let's say 60% of 1RM, women can probably do more repetitions than men can, and women also typically show reduced signs of neuromuscular fatigue, such as in this study, a reduced drop in repetitions across sets. Now the novel or contradictory finding of this study is that there was no difference in recovery meaning that at these time points for 24 and 48 hours later, there were no statistically significant differences or no difference in the trend over time between how these repetitions developed over time. Now, if we look at this actual data though, I don't quite agree with the authors on this because here what we see is that for biceps curls in men, we see a very typical recovery pattern. So we see that there was a decrease of 7% after four hours this decreased to 6% decreased performance at 24 hours and then increased to 0.7% basically indicating re recovery at 48 hours. So basically this study found that men need about 48 hours after four sets to failure of biceps curls, this particular sample of men at least. Now, the women actually did not experience a significant decrease in performance at four hours already indicating that there was almost no neuromuscular fatigue or they could recover within four hours, which is much faster than 48 hours. And then at 24 hours, there was super compensation because there was actually an increase in performance. Now, most of these things were not statistically significant because the standard deviations were huge. We're looking at variations in performance, like standard deviations of almost 10 repetitions. And we're looking at a recovery performance difference of like one or two repetitions probably. So this study was probably woefully underpowered to really detect any difference in recovery pattern. So I think it, it makes sense to interpret the data in absolute terms and look at the overall trend to see if they make sense. And basically I would say that for biceps curls, this study does indicate that men uh, in this study needed 48 hours to recover, whereas the women super compensated, not just recovered, but super compensated in 24 hours which is in line with the idea that women do in fact recover faster than men. Now, if we look at the leg extensions, there was a bit less of a difference. We can see here that the men had a 3% decrease, 3.4% decrease in performance at four hours. And in women, it was 3.8%. So that's an absolutely marginal difference. Basically, the fatigue was the same at four hours after the workout. Now, at 24 hours after the workout, we can see that the women performed a little bit better. They had an increase of 8% compared to 3% in men. This data would suggest that both groups recovered in 24 hours after four sets of leg extensions, but the increase was a little bit bigger in women. So overall, I would say not much of a difference here. These data are not in line with the idea that women recover much faster. Maybe, I mean, you could argue that the 8% is a bigger increase, so they supercompensated more effectively. But then if you look at the 48 hour measures, these actually don't make much sense. In men, it stayed at exactly 2.7%. So that's, that's logical. 24 hours later, they had recovered, super compensated, and then they basically their performance stayed the same over the next day. However, in women, the 7.9% decreased to minus 2.4%, indicating that they were again fatiguing, which makes no sense and goes back to the point that these data are extremely noisy and probably really don't allow us to determine whether we can say that women recover faster than men or not. And overall, I would say the literature is not really clear on this, despite a few studies finding clear significant differences that women recover faster than men. There are a lot of studies 
that have questionable results. Overall, though, I would say I can recall off the top of my head multiple studies indicating that women do recover faster than men. And not, don't quote me on this, but I can't at least on the top of my head recall any studies where women don't recover um, or men recover faster than women. So overall, I would say that literature is in line with the trend that women probably recover a bit faster, but it's not going to be a huge difference. It's not like you can double the training volume or something. Overall, typically what I do in terms of program design with women versus men is I look at if the women have better work capacity or I look at a female client's work capacity and I see if it's as, if it's as high as I would expect from a woman. And if so, then I probably increase the volume a little bit um, compared to men. We're talking about a few sets per week here, not a recovery difference of a day or more. So overall, I think that there is probably a difference, but it's small. And I hope this uh, allows you to design more effective training programs for men versus women. If you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe.